Okay, we're starting the e fuel line replacement project. And what that means is replacing the um, plastic fuel lines in the rams with some uh, different fuel lines that go from the fuel valve back to the um, fuel distributor here, manifold distributor, and then up to the wing tanks. So what we're going to be doing here is to use a, uh, a uh, procedure that Kirby uh, Crawford in Wisconsin used by building this bracket to hold the wing and then to disconnect the wing at the front main spark connection which is actually under here <laughs> right there and rotate the wing out I guess I gotta get back a little bit here rotate the wing out and uh, uh, use that to access the wing roots here that need to be accessed in order to get to the fuel tanks to replace well we've made some progress here we've got the wing rotated so we have full access to the um, end route that we've got to use to to uh, get at the fuel tanks and uh, not too much wing came off the uh, front spar pin without too much of a problem we had to drill a hole in the fairing to get at the pin and I missed that a little bit but I think we've solved that problem and on Friday I got to the point where we got part of the rib out the wing all open and I'm in the process of taking out all of the rivets and uh, working on the, now we got the front fuel fitting uh, visible and the fuel sight gauges all off. And I'm working on uh, getting the rear access panel open and trying to find the rear fuel fitting and then we can start replacing the hose. More progress here. I got the uh, entire rib out and uh, access to the rear fitting uh, by cutting the uh, inspection cover that was not cut, but there in the back to access the rear tank fitting. The uh, plastic line didn't look too bad, although the ends were a little bit loose on the fittings. There's not a lot of fitting on that barb. And uh, over the time, I think that's worn with those plastic uh, clamps. So I think I'm trying not to break something while I fix something. Hey, that's a I'm replacing fuel lines. Ooh, that's My fuel lines that have been in here for. Um, I think that's probably a good idea. 2000 and somewhere between 2002 and 2004. The, fuel tank is marked 2002 and um, I'm putting air equipped fuel, regular aircraft fuel hose back in. But of course everything's bigger now so I have to fiddle fart around to adjust a little. Now, you got the red light on. Okay, we're proceeding along. It's been a little slow because the tubing size is enough larger that some of the interferences needed to be fixed and and I take a long time to do anything anyway, so it's coming though. All right, we are uh, pretty much done with one wing completely. And uh, this wing now has fuel in it. And we're doing a leak test on the hose and the hose connections. So once that's done, we'll drain out the fuel, hook the hose lines up, clean up the hose where they're supposed to be, and uh, be done with that wing. Got the strut back on temporarily, ready to go. Have to re-rig the flap and tighten everything back up. Um, tried a lot of different hose clamps and ended up uh, using where I could these 
clip clip on hose clamps they uh, require a special tool um, but they seem to work great they're compact and uh, don't have any slots in the in the clamps and work great with the AeroQuip hose Okay, I uh, thought I'd take a minute and talk about some of the uh, issues I dealt with anyway in putting the new hose in. One is the clearance of the clamp on the front uh, fuel fitting. If uh, you use the clip-on clamps, which are smaller and more compact, that shouldn't be a problem. But the screw-on clamps, uh, I had trouble finding a way to get the, getting them in without interfering with the bracket uh, that holds the fuel tank. You can't see that, but it's behind that section on the front fuel fitting and then the uh, hose clamp on the back side of this sight gauge which is uh, very close to the rib end once you put the rib end back on um, that might be a problem I used the AeroQuip hose, little pieces of AeroQuip hose to come out of the tank there as opposed to what they had used before which was the plastic uh, the smaller plastic hose lines no problems on this fitting and then on the back, the kind of the typical problems that people have with uh, interference between the hose coming underneath the uh, gas tank bracket in the bottom of the rib. And I just cleaned off uh, a bit of the, the rib, uh, bent it, crushed it a little bit so that that fuel line fitting fit better uh, on the uh, fitting. Otherwise than that, that's the uh, process of, uh, of Redoing re the lines is going well. I've got one wing completely done all the way to the fuel manifold and about ready to switch over to the other wing. Well, we're finished. Finished with the project. I actually test flew the airplane yesterday and uh, without a lot of the interior stuff in it, so we put everything back. And uh, project is complete. And came out uh, fairly well.